Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, working with Bravacy.com, and today we want to talk about education. Now, I have a lot of problems with the American educational system. Public schools are overcrowded and underfunded, and the concern for funding just to keep the lights on has made it so difficult for them to actually teach students. Don't get me wrong, I have so many friends who are teachers, and they're some of the most hardworking, underappreciated, underpaid people in the country. Teachers are passionate about sharing knowledge with these students. That's why they take these jobs where they have to work so hard for so little. But they're confined to work within a system that has to focus on standardized testing so much because that's that's directly related to how much money they get. We're giving them information, but there's a lot of things we actually miss out on when it comes to showing them how to be a functioning human being. So that's what we're talking about today. Here are five things they should teach you in high school. Number one, budgeting and basic finance. I'm 23 years old, and this is something that I and a lot of people in my life struggle with. Because of the economy and our living wages, a lot of us are living paycheck to paycheck. Unless you went to college for stuff that has to do with finances, it's kind of difficult to get a grasp on how to budget your own stuff. And this should be something every person knows how to do. We should be taught how to have a basic grasp of our finances, what our monthly and yearly expenses are, what our living wages are, that kind of stuff. If you don't go out of your way to learn it, for the most part, you just kind of wing it. But still, by the last couple days before your next paycheck, you end up finding yourself eating ramen noodles just to get by. Being able to manage your own finances, at least to the extent that you're not surprised how little your account balance is every time you look, should be something we're taught in high school. Number two, figuring out and following a career path. This is one of the big issues I have when it comes to public and private education. I have no idea how wealthy my viewers are, and I'm sure it's probably different in other countries, but here in America, going to college is fucking expensive. And it's tough because not only is it a lot of money and a lot of time, it's also kind of a risk. I'm 17 years old and graduating high school. I still can't legally vote or buy cigarettes, but you want me to spend tens of thousands of dollars to work in the general direction of a career I think I might want for years. I've only ever been to Vegas twice, but I think they call that a fucking gamble. And honestly, I am a little salty because I have a degree in graphic design, but I'm not working in that field at all. In fact, after trying to for a couple years, I got tired of it and now I write full time and do this stuff. I thought it was what I wanted and I followed it, but honestly, it wasn't at all. But you can't get a refund and say, hey, listen, I'm not using this. Can I just kind of get that 30 grand back? There should be a more complex and helpful system in place to help students find out what direction they should head towards. And I'm not talking about one of those glorified BuzzFeed quizzes that tells you what kind of career you should go after. I'm talking about a system that works with you to cultivate those ideas, that highlights all your best qualities, combines them with your interests, and actually turns that into something you can pursue. Number three, basic survival skills. Now, I'm not talking about learning to start a fire. I don't need a high school class to show me how to build a shelter. I'm not concerned about that. I'm not a survivalist. If I lose Wi-Fi, I'm probably fucking done. What I am talking about are things you need to know if you're living on your own. How to handle certain emergencies, how to keep your house from falling apart, basic repair skills, a rudimentary understanding of how to work any of the shit in my fuse box downstairs. Things that if I were living alone, I would like to know in order to actually function as a human being. I basically want life hacks, the class. I want to learn easy, consistent recipes, just baseline things that I could use to get by if I have no other information. Number four, time management. I feel like even within the context of our current educational system, this is something that should have been taught to us. Because if you want us to be able to do all the homework all these different classes are giving us and still study and work on projects, we need to know time management. And instead of having some kind of course that takes all the work you're getting from all the other classes and shows you how to properly break it down between that and jobs and personal time, you're basically given a stack of books and papers and saying, here you go, I don't fucking know. And this leads to a lot of anxiety and a lot of pressure for students. And even now, as someone who works from home and kind of has to self-manage my time, I still have difficulty with it. I get all my stuff done, I'm always on schedule, but sometimes I'm up till one o'clock in the morning because I kind of put things off without realizing it. Procrastination, especially in college, is a problem a lot of students have. And maybe if we had some kind of course that showed us how to handle these things properly without a lot of pressure, we could figure some things out. And number five, social skills. Now, I'm not saying I needed a class in senior year called How to Make Friends. I would have failed that class, no doubt. But I think social skills are important because you're about to go into an adult world. I don't need to learn how to make friends. I need to learn how to actually approach genuine conversations with people. I need to know how to network. I need to know how to establish relationships with people. Even when it comes to disagreements, because I'm not sure if you remember this, but an argument is supposed to be an exchange of opposing ideas. It's about communication. It's about trying to reach out and talk to another person. But a lot of the time, especially online, our arguments turn into basically just hurling insults at one another. And if we were young, we were taught how to properly exchange ideas, how to ask for things, how to say you need help, how to talk talk to someone. I have no idea how many fucking people would listen to that, but I do know it would be more than the people we have now. Human beings are social creatures, but we still have to learn how to function in a society. But anyway, that's just my top five. I'm sure you have some ideas. I would love to know them. So in the comments below, tell me, what do you wish you learned in high school? As always, check out Ravishy.com for a bunch of great articles, including stuff that I write. Find me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. Be sure to subscribe, like, share this video. If you want to continue to support the work I do, you can always check me out at mattjosephdiaz.com donate. All the links are in the description below. Feel free to check them out, and I hope you have a good one.